Alright guys, welcome to another beer review and uh, today we're going over to Daya and uh, we're having a look at a can of the Steady Rolling Man Pale Ale uh, probably one of the most well-known beers and uh, yeah, it's such a pain in the arse to get hold of Daya where I am uh, but thankfully uh, I got the hook up from my, uh, my beer bay, Harry from Blue Nose Beer Reviews who uh, I bought a few cans off him, I did a video about it, and uh, yeah, very, very excited to try them. Um, he's actually on a hangout now, but um, this isn't chilled down, but it is a little bit cold, because it's it's cold, because it's winter, or towards the end of autumn. But uh, yes, Steady Rolling Man Pale Ale, 5.2% ABV. Steady Rolling Man, our pale ale, inspired by the ridiculously tasty hoppy beers we fell for, we got brewing our own versions over and over again, whilst listening to the blues greats. The heady concoction of old-time blues records and juicy American hops transfixed us to the start, and a steady rolling man was born in these sessions. Incredibly soft and delicate, with intense tropical fruit hop aromatics and saturation, this is a vision of the perfect pale ale. Please keep the can refrigerated to preserve the flavour profile intended. This beer is vegan-friendly unfiltered, unpasteurised, unfined. Uh, can design by Thomas Tr Trojanovsky, I think that's how you pronounce it, or Trojanovsky. Uh, apologies for the mispronunciation, but I do like that artwork indeed. And uh, yeah, best before date on this one is, well, it was canned on the 25th of September. Best before date is the 25th of December. So uh, best before Christmas, which is less than... Is it the 10th today or the 11th? I can't remember. So, we're nearly halfway to Christmas, essentially, which is fucking scary, because this year's gone way too fast. Um, I am intended on doing, like, a week of day of reviews, because i got seven cans, but I'll probably forget that. So, uh, if you are seeing this as part of day of week, then fine. But if not, then expect to see other day of reviews, because i got a few cans, which you can't really see, because the the rough camera in there. And uh, yeah, anyway, so my hair looks terrible, as it usually does, but uh, this, I love this Northern Monk sweatshirt, and look at that, I love like the arms, it doesn't fit me, it's too big and massive, so it looks even bigger, but I look adorable, it's comfy, and uh, I've said it before, Northern Monk know how to do proper drinker's sizes, so uh, I will commend them for that. Anyway, not here to talk about Northern Monk, we are here to talk about Dare, so steady rolling man. I think I've had this before, but I'm not too sure. But anyway, let's see what we get. And uh, yeah, 500ml can, which is always greatly appreciated. So, yeah, here we go. Uh, as one would expect, that is haze for days. It's got that sort of like pale chicken stock look to it. It looks luminous on camera, really bright lello. It's a really bright lello, but uh, on the camera, it's got that sort of like... Um, well, on camera, it's a lot brighter, uh, but in person, person, in Beerson, uh, it's got a sort of like, um, you know, a locket capsule, the honey and lemon ones. But yeah, you can't see through that at all. Uh, it's got a lovely pale edge to it as well, with about one finger's worth of uh, a white, compact, fluffy head. Uh, what you expect with beers like this nowadays, and apologies that I'm uh, wiping my nose. I think I'm coming down with a cold again, which is like the second one in less than a month. Which is absolutely fantastic. Anyway, so let's see if I could get a sniff on this one. And you certainly can. Uh, it's more of a gentle one, but that's probably because I'm not firing on all cylinders. I very rarely do anyway. But at least I've got an excuse this time. But I'm getting loads of like really nice sweet citrusy vibes. Almost like um like candied lemon. Or like the lemon fruit pastels. Or like the, the you know those sort of jelly sweets that are hardened, but they've got the sugar around them. But yeah, a little bit of a almost like a, a like a sweet herbal flavour, like fresh mint. Oh yeah, it smells really nice. It's soothing. It's gentle. It just makes you want to drink it, and that's what I'm going to do now. So cheers and cheers, Harry, for hooking me up.
And you know what? It's not chilled down. It's not exactly classically room temperature either. But that is just tasting absolute peng. Very gentle citrusy vibes. I'd say that's what I'm getting most. It's backed up with a very gentle tropical uh, flavour as well. A little bit of mango. There's like a very subtle, it is very subtle, tart gooseberry passion fruit sort of flavour in there. But um, yeah, lovely bold body for the ABV. Lovely gentle soft water in there as well. Mm. You know, they don't always have to be in your face. And this is just a perfect example of a go-to hazy hoppy pale ale. Very refreshing. It's got like a real density to it, but it's still quite crisp as well. Oh, that's tasting absolutely terrific. I've got to keep wiping my nose, so I do apologise. Especially if you see like snot glistening off my hands. Yeah, I've got no class. So, uh, what the heck. But yeah, this is just what the doctor ordered. You know, I've come in from a, a late shift at work. I found out this weekend I'm working from half six till half three in the morning. So this is definitely soothing the blow. And it's got like a slight honey lemon flavour to it because of that sweetness. But there is a nice gentle hoppy bitterness on the back end. So it's not overly sweet, which I, I do find that uh, some of the, these beers can get. Which is fine if you're really in, in, in the mood for that. But sometimes I like to be reminded that I'm drinking a beer. And this is certainly doing the job for me. Um, yeah, I can't... What is going on with my hair, man? It's, like, got such an odd shape. It's, like... It's, like, sloped. I don't know why. It's just ridiculous. I'm just a mess. <laughs> but I'm a hot mess. So, uh... Anyway, but yes, it tastes absolutely wonderful. Mm. Could easily give that one a 9 out of 10. Um, yeah, it's, it's one that I would happily go to time and time again if I just wanted a very solid tasty pale ale so uh, yeah steady rolling man from Dea 5.2% fantastic mm. stuff if you tried it let me know your thoughts opinions down below if you tried any other beers from Dea then of course recommendations opinions would be greatly appreciated and of course if any of my friends or fellow beer tubers have reviewed it which I think most of them have links will be down below Check out Harry from Blue Nose Beer Reviews for the hookup, my beer bay, in the most platonic, heterosexual way possible. Or is it? That's the thing. You don't know what we do behind closed doors and on camera to each other. Uh, on that note, I'm going to end the video there because I'm getting a little bit hot under the collar thinking about that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for putting up with this. And hopefully you'll join me either tomorrow for another day of review or... If I completely forget it, I hope you'll join me for the next beer review, regardless of what it is. See you guys later.